There are perks to being the webmaster for a hotshot tattooist. Every now and again you get a free hotshot tattoo. We just took advantage of a 20 hour window between hockey playoffs and dentistry to drive down to see Mike Dick and his family. It's been months between updates with time and timing the enemy as usual in this life. And so you learn to take your chances where you may. Victoria is easily two and a half hours and as much gas away, and it takes a lot to get this gang out of the house overnight. We have to arrange for the 30 odd critters while we're away, not to mention supplies for the four of us and the hound. Feed and water for the chickens, and the bunny, and the chicks, and the hens, and the cat. Damn cat. While we made it in time to load up on new scans and make plans for new features, we also managed an hour in the chair for me. People get tattooed for lots of different reasons. I get them so I can hang out with Mike and watch him work. I know I can lay my arm down with total common faith. Just relax and enjoy the Johnny Cash or the Johnny Horton while we talk about kids and sticking it to the man. Mike's got an outlaw spirit and a kind heart. His hand as steady as any you'll find and his eye is as sharp as his needle. The piece you see him working on there with my first tattoo, gift from Mike on the occasion of my wedding. Supposed to be a raven, an animal I've always felt a kinship with. We're just putting in some shading while we plan the rest of the arm. It's fooling around really while we shoot some film to put on site. <laughs> Mike's been at this almost a decade with 15 years of art and living before that. Recently closed his original shop and reopened underground in a new location. He had a crossroads in his career forced with a choice to expand, to go more corporate and even deeper in debt, to have to chase every hour to make it, we'll churn out the Tasmanian devils by the dozen, anchors and flags right off the wall. Instead he went the other way. No phone, no sign, fuck you tattoo school of business. He doesn't post his hours or advertise in the yellow pages. If he's there when you come by, great. If not, well, fuck you. If you're mad because he won't do the Nike swoosh on your back, well, fuck you. And for all the other reasons in the world, fuck you. But don't take it personally. One on one and face to face, he'll treat you with the kind of decency you figured had gone out of style a hundred years ago. His customers are loyal, they seek him out by word of mouth. His best advertising is the work he's done. These days, he fills his chair with truer pieces and fewer fools. One or two sittings a day in a small and comfortable studio in a small and comfortable square in Victoria. They come from up island in Vancouver and around the world because they know that it's the artist as much as the art makes an indelible impression on your skin. I'm just going over Jordan. I'm just going. So are we running right now? Yeah, we are. I don't have to push that red button. No, good. Good man. Hi, Dan. How's it going? Not too bad. That's a fact. <laughs> I might dick back.